Good Friday morning, Northern Michigan. Time now 545. Have you ever had a teacher that inspired you to be a better student? Maybe you had a teacher who made learning fun and helped you grasp the subjects in a new way that you never knew you could. This morning we're taking a look at a language arts teacher from Sutton's Bay Middle School who says now is the best time to be an educator. So when you read the articles, you're always taking notes about that question. When you walk into Cindy Crandall's 8th grade language arts class at Sutton's Bay Middle School, the first thing you notice is how focused her 48 students are. It's important to me that every child gets it. Cindy has been teaching for 27 years, and you can see it's more than just a job for her. It's a passion. The language arts class isn't your typical reading and writing course. In fact, Cindy incorporates technology to gain her students' attention. We use the internet, and we research stuff, and then we'll type papers about it. It is an extra component to the classroom, but it opens doors, tremendous doors for kids. We're not limited to a textbook or one person's view or opinion. Lots of notes are better. For Cindy, it's about it's looking ahead for her students. The technology also provides the students more access to not just information, but to the world they're going to live in because they're going to enter a workforce where this is their, their life. And it's where they live today. These kids live on computers today. When I plan a lesson for the kids, I try to look for topics that are of high interest for them. So currently we're studying ambition and what takes ambition. It's a topic that's pretty fitting for the type of teaching approach that Cindy takes. She's always open to questions and she's never She's never like, oh, you can't ask this question or you can't ask that question. It's like she's open for any question that you have. It's pretty enjoyable and we learn a lot. Put the article on the other and you can type your notes. You're seeing that, that full engagement that they're, you're seeing the, the students saying, we know this teacher, we respect this teacher, we know that she's doing something that's really going to help us. I, I am very passionate about working with the kids. I, it, it's never been a better time to be an educator because of this tremendous bond that our community supported. We have the technology now, our students have the netbooks, and I have embraced all of that. There's never been information at their fingertips. It's a method of teaching that could be the wave of the future, incorporating modern technology, all to help enhance basic communication and a knowledge of writing. It's this method that's getting across to the students. She's pretty helpful and she helps you when you have questions. She's cool. <laughs> she, oh, she's, she's a cool teacher. The goal is that they leave my class being able to be effective in what they read and what they write. What I want them to take away is the, fact, the understanding that they can read something even though it might be difficult and they can understand what is being written. The answer to that question. It's amazing how my practice has evolved over time with the technology. It, 27 it's, years and I'm not quitting anytime soon. You know, it's, I'm not ready to go. It, I'm not ready to retire, and I see myself doing this a lot longer. Well, hold them up high so I can count. Definitely a phenomenal teacher with such an impressive class. When she's not in the classroom, Mrs. Crandall also coaches an Odyssey of the Mind team. Last year, her students went to the state finals, and this year they're expecting to go to nationals. Obviously, good luck to them. I used to do Odyssey of the Mind. Did you really? I wasn't, I don't think I had very good ideas, but I went and I Maybe you could help them out, Joe. I don't know. I'm not Give sure. They made it. I don't tips. think they need help. They went to the uh, state Apparently, finals. they're pretty good. So. All right.